Hey guys, what's up? Once again, it is mp4podcast.com, bringing you guys some of the most interesting tech tutorials to play PC video games. Right over here, we have Rust Alpha. A lot of people are talking about this game. Now, the specs, when you go, when, if you're on Steam and you look at the specs, the specs don't look that high, but the game is very laggy. Maybe because it's on, it's in alpha and the coding is just not really optimized that well, you know, or whatever the case may be. But what you want to do is just put it in a small window like this. Click, you know, window right over here. Make sure that's checked and so on. So we'll click play. And we'll look at the frame rates right now. And we're getting a thousand frame rates because it's just a black screen. But what you want to do is go over here, click full, full screen, play game, and we're just going to jump into a random server. I don't care which server it is. And it's loading up. And I'm running bandy cam so you guys can see the frame rates right over here. So, yeah. Alright, so we're almost done. What we need to do is, now as you can see, most of this grass is turned off. I turned it off, and but let me just show you how you do it. You click F1, you type grass, then you want to hit period, type the word on, and then you want to type the word false. And once you do that, you'll turn off the grass. Like my grass is already turned off. So to get rid of this uh, this you know this uh, text box you want to click F1 and then like I'm mean, gonna hit the Windows key button and minimize this. And right now as you can see that's the frame rate I'm getting right now. So what I'm gonna do is just make that bigger. And as you can see the frame rates have dropped. It's still kind of playable unless you, if you guys really want to play it in, in a bigger window. Um, 15 is like, it's playable, but it's laggy. But it's not laggy like, you know, 8 frames per second, which is really, really bad. Uh, it's bad, but it's not bad, 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 you know. But right over here, we, we're getting 40 frames per second and so on. So just click the mouse. The mouse will go back into the game. And as you can see, it's not too bad at all. It's dropping just a little bit here and there. If you do want to get a little bit more frames, let me just click the window. What you want to do is come over here. And you want to get this uh, the arrow tilted just a little bit. So maybe you can go like that. And it'll just make it a little bit smaller. So now we'll start moving around. And as we move around, we're somewhere around the 30s, dropped a little bit uh, around 25 frames per second. Again, it's playable. You know, if you're close to the monitor, like a laptop, and you're only maybe about 12 inches away from the computer screen, it's still playable, you know. But it, it is time to upgrade, I'll say that. It is definitely time to upgrade for a new computer. If you want to play this game, if there are other games, you know, that still run good on your computer, then, you know, there's no reason to upgrade. It depends what you want to play. So, don't get bent out of shape if a game doesn't run too good on your system. If there's a game that you want to play, and then then it is time to upgrade. But anyway, guys, this has been mp4podcast.com. If you enjoyed this tutorial, then please hit the like button. It helps promote the video. Also, if you're new to my channel, hit that subscribe button. And if you guys have any tips for uh, optimizing Rust, I'll leave a comment below. I will also leave some other videos. Some other uh, YouTubers have done some videos and some other links I found for optimizing Rust as well. So once again, you guys, have a safe one. Stay safe and have a good one. Later, guys. Bye.